Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Lodi as recorded by Credence Clearwater Revival on guitar. Now this is an awesome, just laid back, groovy tune. I'm going to show you how to play the entire thing. We're going to use a capo on the third fret for this song lesson. Now the first part of the tune starts out in the key of G here relative to the capo. We're gonna play through most of the tune that way, and then we're gonna move up, we're gonna do what's called a modulation and change keys. Basically play the same chord progression, but now in a new key, two frets higher. I'm gonna show you how to do it, so when you're done with this video, you'll be able to play through the entire song. But before we jump in, I wanna hook you up with a gift right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's gonna show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And a lot of the chords that we're covering in today's lesson are on this page, so it's really gonna help you out. And you can grab your copy completely for free at the first link down below, or just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide to grab your copy. All right, well with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play low die as recorded by Credence Clearwater Revival on guitar. Now we're gonna start off with the intro. This is a four bar chord progression, and you wanna make sure that you've got your capo on the third fret here. We're gonna be starting in the key of G relative to the capo. So here's the intro. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So I'm using just three chords, G, D, and C. Now G, I'm playing in this folk style. I'm just using my ring finger and my pinky. I'm playing the third fret, then muting the fifth string, then open, 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 three. Now I'm gonna play two bars of G. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna play two beats of D which is just from the fourth string down here, open, two, three, two, and then C, three, two, open, one, open. Those are two beats each, so one, two, three, four, then back to G. So it's one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's the intro. Now our strumming pattern for this song is just gonna go back and forth. We're gonna go one and two and three and four and down up is the pattern. Then we start the verse. Just about a year ago is the lyric cue here. Here's the first eight bars. So I'm starting on that G for two bars. Then I go to C for a bar. Then back to G. Then here I do this very common chord progression. This is used in millions of songs. It's called a walk down chord progression. We're gonna go start on that G, then we're gonna walk the bass down to F sharp here on the second fret. Then E minor. That's all six strings, open, two, two, open, open, open. Then I'll play a D in the bass, so I'm gonna lift off that second fret on the fourth string and just strum from four down. It's all open strings. So that sounds like this. Then we go to C, two, three, four, then D, two, three, four. Now if I add our strumming pattern with that, it goes, here's the walk down. So the first eight all together go one, two, here's the verse.
Then we're gonna repeat that walk down progression again. We've got four bars and then the refrain. Here's what that sounds like. So what I did is I started the same way, G to G over F sharp, E minor to E minor over D. Those are all two beats each. One and two and switch and two and, two and three and four and then C for a bar and G for a bar. Then the lyric here is, Oh Lord, stuck in low die again. Right, this is our little refrain. That's G, D, C, G. That's it, that's the whole verse. So that goes for the first two minutes of the song, it's just that progression. So I'll play it all together so you can hear the verse as one piece. Here we go, one, two, three, four, and. So that goes over and over till about two minutes. Then we have what's called a key change. We play this little interlude and then we play the verse in a new key. Here we're gonna go. So what we're doing is we're taking all the chords when we play the verse next and we're going to transpose them, raise them up to the next tone, a whole step up. So we're gonna play a D chord here to an A, and then an E, this time instead of E minor, we've got that index finger down there for our E major, and then we go back to A. So it's D, D, A, A, E, E, then A strum. That's the interlude. And then we've got that verse in the new key. Now the reference here, lyric reference, is if I only had a dollar. Now we're going to play the verse in the new key. So this is the same chord progression as what we did in G. We're just transposed. We're in a new key. So here we're going to play A then to D, then to A. Now here's what our walk down looks like in this key. A, then put the G sharp in the bass. That's the fourth fret of the low E. Then F sharp minor, bar chord here, two, four, four, two, two, two. Then go to open, just put that E in the bass. Then D, E. Then do the walk down again. Now we're in the chorus. Oh Lord, stuck in a low die again. Okay, so all of that is the same progression. It's just in a new key. Now when we end the song, we do the refrain. The oh Lord, stuck in a low die again. And then we repeat it again. Oh Lord, it's called a tag. Stuck in a low die again. Then we have our fade out chord progression. This tune just fades out like this. It's all just A, D, and E there. It's eight bars long. It's A, A, D, A, 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 E, D, A, and it repeats. Congrats on making it through this lesson on how to play low die as recorded by Credence Clearwater Revival on guitar. Be sure to take your time with all those different sections, whether it's starting out in the first part of the tune in the lower key 
or then taking that same progression and moving it up to a new key and having a bunch of new chord shapes. But it's essentially the same chord movements, just now in a different key. The first one was in G, and then the next one was in A. So rewind the video and just go over any parts that are unclear, and then when you're ready, go and play it along with the recording. And to help you put this all together even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And I want to hook you up with it completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Next, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment and let me know your number one struggle with guitar and how I can help you, whether it's rhythm, timing, chord transitions, soloing. Let me know down below. Also, if you have any song requests, you can leave those down below as well. Thanks for your support here with the videos, and we'll catch you in another video real soon.